Hi, I'm Real Junaid Demon, and this is Flying Shark on the Amstrad CPC. This is uh, an arcade game by name. Um, the license was given to Firebird back in the day, and and it's a, basically it's a vertical shooter where you play a biplane. It's pretty good. Um, however, the Amstrad here has suffered from its usual problem, um, or the usual problem, a common problem of the time, which is that basically it's 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 a port from the Spectrum. Um, it's not a bad port, in fact it's better in a number of ways, one of which is the colour clash is gone, however we're down to the four colours on screen, um, yes the higher resolution, I think the speed has been is slightly slower than the Spectrum version, um, and it shouldn't be, um, this is one of those games that, you know, if Firebird had gone to the effort of actually, um, you know, um, converting this properly, this would have been, a, uh, this would have been, well, this would have been a classic, this would have been a game that you would have had to have, um, it plays okay, I mean it's, it's fine, it plays Place, it, it, you know that it's 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 a conversion of an arcade game. It's a it's a it's a shoot 'em up. It's 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 it. Yeah, it does the job. But but as I say, it's it's been a it's a it's a Spectrum one. But as I say, one of the beauties of it is that because of the lack of color clash that the Spectrum suffers from, at least at least you get a few more colors on screen and in the center screen because the Spectrum version is monochrome. Um, but you also get um, a sort of an easier thing, you know, sort of a rolling background. It's easier to see what's going on. So, right, okay, let's see how far I can get on this while we're playing it. Quite enjoyed it actually, to be fair. Um, as I say, I would just loved it to have got the full, the full sort of Amstrad sort of um, full 27 color palette um, that you that, that, at the time that you could have got. But never mind. Um, it would. I, I think. I think it would have blown people's brains out if that, that actually had happened. So, oh. Finally got shot there. Okay, so I think we've got a double shot coming up again here. When you press the S, if you want to do, you fire your bombs because you've got like a, a nuke weapon. Um, if you want to do that, you hold down the fire button. Um, I didn't actually realise that when I was first playing it, and I actually managed to fire them all off at once. And I was like, "Why is everything exploding on the screen?" It's because I was holding down the button. Never mind. Okay, let's see if we can get a few of these plans. See if we can see a few. And the sound effects are pretty, pretty. Um, you know, there aren't there aren't much to them really. Um, but as I say, it plays well enough. Um, and as I say, it doesn't suffer from the color clash that the the Spectrum had. However, I could have, I would have loved to have seen this sort of given the full color treatment. It would have been lovely, wouldn't it? I understand at the moment though that what's in development for the Amstrad is a remake of um, Slap Fight. Now I'm I'm a big fan of Slap Fight. I don't know why because it's not it's a it's a shoot 'em up. Um, it's a not a particularly uh, it's a very difficult shoot 'em up. But it's not. But I I wouldn't. I, I don't think you you know. I don't know I, on shoot 'em up front. It's not. It's no 1942 kind of thing. That's the, what I, I you know is kind of that is that the gold standard. I don't know what the gold standard of shoot 'em ups is actually. What is the gold standard of shoot 'em ups? Put it in the comments below if you know what the gold standard of shoot 'em up because I would actually like to try it because I have a thing for shoot 'em ups. I'm not very good at shoot 'em ups. However, I do have a thing for shoot 'em ups. Um, it's just sort of one of these things. I love them. I love playing them. I think I like the 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 the, the waves of things and the the the, the ease at which things are destroyed and the, the the way that they just sort of it's just it's just something good about blowing stuff up. Um, I think that's it. I think I've just got a I think I've got a thing for blowing things up. Right, that's a shot thing. Ah, crashed into the plane there. I didn't see it. Damn it, missed it. Okay, one up. I think I get a life at 30,000 points. I have a feeling that I do. Um, that's the point that I actually get the extra additional lives. Oh, oh, that bullet nearly got me. I just wish the colours were just slightly, slightly more, well, less, less yellow. Um, right, okay, here we go. We've got some stuff on the top of this. Oh, they're not going yet. Bomb them. That's it, bombed them. Okay. See, it just washes all the colours out as well. It's unfortunate, really, but... It does. I need a what's on the tape for the Amstrad, you know. I haven't got any of them. I don't know if anybody actually did the copying in the same sort of level that, the, that, that they did on the Spectrum, to be honest, for the Amstrad. I bet they did. I bet that I bet there's plenty of copied tapes, but I just don't. I don't. Not, I just haven't come across them. I think is the answer to that. I'd like to do a what's on the tape with the Amstrad. That'd be quite fun, actually. I think. Quite tough though, because the Amstrad tapes are very long. You'd have to listen to me for an awful long time. Here we go. It's our boss. 
And I don't have any bombs. I only have one bomb left. So we'll get him, shoot him a bit. And then... Ah! I've run out of lives, though. Oh, I've run out of lives. Oh! Run out of lives just at the boss. Right, we've got my time there. There we go. Excellent. No, I, I flying shark. It's not bad. I just, I just feel that he didn't get the treatment it should have got. You notice the palette's changed now, by the way. They brought Firebird's brought back its red for its Firebird, and the the ta the the the, the Tato was brought back its. Uh, is it Tato? Is that how you pronounce it? Tato um, um, has appeared back at the top there in, in yellow. So it kind of it kind of alters the palette when it does it. But you can only have four colours on screen at once, which is a bit of a shame, to be honest with you. And I like the high res mode to have had a few more colours. I mean, if it had mid managed to get eight, you would have been you would have been much better. But of course, that would have taken a huge amount of memory. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye bye now.